still undefeated. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick and Nikki here. Hello. And we thought we would do something different tonight. We thought we would take you out to dinner to Shula's Steakhouse at Walt Disney World. Located inside the Dolphin Hotel on Disney property, you'll find Shula's Steakhouse. Walk through the front doors into the atrium, this lobby here, very nice. By the way, it's called the Dolphin Hotel, not for the mammal, but for the fish. So, not what you would expect. But just veer to the right here, on your right, you will find the entrance to Shula's Steakhouse. Don't go down the escalators. You wanna make this right. Right here. The walls down this hallway adorned with information about Don Shula and the Dolphins, 1970. He joins the Miami Dolphins as head coach. And then there's gonna be four doors, kinda of like faux office facades. And these will be dedicated and pay homage to some very famous Miami Dolphins, some Hall of Famers. Larry Little, number 66. Larry Zonka, number 39. Nick Bonacani, number 85 and Bob Greasy number 12. Not only their names on the walls, but pictures of them down the hallway as well. There's a picture of the Don himself. What's he doing? What's he holding? The Lombardi, the Super Bowl trophy, the second AFC East team to win a Super Bowl. First was the Jets, then Miami won a couple, and then the Patriots won a few, and then the Buffalo Bills won none. Ha ha ha. As you walk in, you will notice the walls are adorned with Miami Dolphins pictures. I'm loving it. To the right, you'll see the bar. And then you'll see the, uh, you want to call this the wine cellar or the wine room. Tons of different wines. And this rack here, this is the rack you want to buy from. This is the $40,000 per bottle rack. I will not be having that. <laughs> And here's the room Nick and I will be dining in. Table is set very nicely. Again, the room is full of Miami Dolphin pictures. And it looks like we might have the room to ourselves for a bit. Take a look at this block full of knives. Now, they're not all for you, unless you had a party of six, I guess. Um, but choose your weapon for your meal. I'm choosing this one here. I like the handle on it. And Nikki is going with the red one. What do you say we go ahead and take a look at tonight's menu? And by the way, I should mention everything on the menu is a la carte. But tonight, the appetizers are New Orleans style shrimp for $22, Colossal shrimp cocktail for $21, Tuna tartar, $22, Maryland style crab cake, $23, Thick cut Nooski's bacon, $21. The soups and salads, French onion soup, $14. Tomato beretta salad, $16. Nikki's really eyeing that. The wedge salad is $15. Shula's house salad, $15. And a traditional Caesar salad, $15. Before we get to the grill, the steaks, let me show you some other entrees. Roasted brick chicken, $38. Coach's Cut Prime Rib, $54. Maryland Style Crab Cakes, $46. Norwegian Salmon, $39. Miso Glazed Halibut, $40. And Nikki's gonna go for the Lobster Tail. I believe that is how much, honey? $68. And now, from the grill. This is why I came here. The 10 ounce filet is $68. The 12 ounce filet, 74. I think I'm gonna go with that. The 16 ounce prime New York strip, $72. 22 ounce cowboy ribeye, 75. 24 ounce black Angus porterhouse is $70. That's the other thing my eye is on. Have to make up my mind between the filet and the porterhouse. But then we also have a 42 ounce prime tomahawk for $155. And any of these can be made Oscar style for an additional $14. Or you can get a signature sauce for an extra five. Onto the sides, which again are a la carte. Fresh jumbo asparagus spears, 
broccoli, $13. Baked potato, $12. That's what I'm going to get. Macaroni and cheese, $14. Mashed potatoes, $13. Spinach, $14. Caramelized Brussels sprouts, $14. And sauteed mushrooms, $14. And my entree has arrived. As you can see, I ended up going with the filet versus the porterhouse. This filet is 12 ounces. It's thick. Oh man, look how thick it is. Aged 32 days, this filet. Let's slice it open and take a look at the inside. I did ask for a medium and it looks to be spot on. And now let's tell you about the sauce that comes with it. The sauce you see here is a Bernays sauce, kind of hollandaise with tarragon. And here's my baked potato right next to all the fixins. I like that I get to choose how much of the fixins go into my baked potato. I'm just going to go with some butter and sour cream and a sprinkle of chives. Here is Nikki's entree. Yes, she did go with the lobster tail. I guess, okay, I'll allow it. Even though this is a steak place, she can have the lobster tail. It looks amazing. Also, the server recommended the mashed potatoes, so that's what she went with. Okay, we're all done with our meal. And since Nikki ordered shellfish <laughs> at a steak place, I'm making you go first. Okay, well, I started with the um, tomato mozzarella, and that was amazing. The mozzarella was like soft on the inside and had like this nice like shell on the outside it was perfectly like salty and you know seasoned uh, it was amazing um it was the hero of my Ooh, entire meal I, the lobster yeah in fact i the lobster was good um nine out of ten let's just say that i'm just i'm, I'm kind of a connoisseur of uh lobster <laughs> so, um so yeah pretty good the, uh, and then um, the cheesecake was really, really good at the end. So there's my three. Right, now yeah. the thing is. Oh wait, I, I forgot, I missed the mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. The mashed potatoes, oh my gosh, that was another hero. Recommended uh, by the server. By the server, yes, and so, oh my, I never had mashed potatoes so good. I can't even tell you what was in them. They're just light and fluffy and amazing and delicious. Uh, you can just swim in them, <laughs> they were so good. I can concur with Nikki on that because she did give me a scoop of the mashed potatoes. <laughs> but that's all I had from her plate. Yeah. She didn't give me any of her appetizer or the lobster. No. So I cannot critique those. No. But the mashed potatoes were good. She's right. Well, I did. I honestly, I really love the tomato mozzarella. I think that was like my favorite. And then this, my second favorite was mashed potatoes. You would have been fine with just the uh, your your appetizer, right? Right. And then I could have saved a bunch of money. And then a side what, order of potatoes. What, what, why did I get you lobster? <laughs> I know that lobster was like sixty-eight dollars. <laughs> Uh, okay, now let's move on to, since we are at a steak place. Yes, let's talk about the steaks I, now, Rick. I got the steak. Yeah. I got the filet. The 12 <laughs> ounce. I couldn't, it was hard for me to decide which way to go. All those look good, but I did just go with your classic filet. Right. Really, those are thick. Now, the ones they serve at Shula are really, really thick. Yeah, are they like... They're like, like that. They're like three inches or something. It was even <laughs> two inches. I don't even know. It was it was amazing. There was one angle I got with the with the camera, uh, and I'm like, man, it kind of looks like a cupcake. <laughs> uh, but it's a good steak. It was really really tender. Aged, I think, it was 32 days. Yeah. Uh, lightly seasoned, lightly seasoned. Okay, so it wasn't, I, it wasn't a right, it, lot. I know if a lot of you go to like different chain restaurants, uh, not seasoned as heavily as say, if you go to like an Outback or something like that. Okay. Uh, so lightly seasoned, it comes with four different sauces. I just went with the standard one. Um, it, the sauce was okay for me. I, I might should have gone with something different. I might would have preferred a different sauce. Uh, but the steak itself, thick, juicy, and so tender and I went with a classic baked potato mm -hmm. I think your mashed potatoes were better than my baked potato oh I believe it those mashed potatoes were amazing I oh oh so <laughs> so good but I did like that it, you know I got to put the butter on it and the sour cream and sprinkle the, the chives on it right because uh, you know usually when you have a baked potato get halfway done with it and then you're out of stuff <laughs> yeah. Well, I had the stuff with me. I you could had, add, you I, had all the stuff. I, I could add more sour cream and stuff if I wanted to. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and I had the. Uh, well, we shared. We shared the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. We shared it. The vanilla cheesecake. It was. Uh, it really did. It, it had a strong vanilla taste to it. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Yeah. Um, Good texture. And the uh, the apple crisps 
so warm and I usually don't eat apple apple stuff. Right. But uh, that was it was pretty good, especially the warm crumbly part. Yeah, they had ice cream on the side, which you really liked. Yeah. I think he had more of the ice cream than he did of the other stuff. We just well, wanted to show you a home. variety. Yeah. yeah, we actually yeah took it home. Yeah, I'm gonna have some of that later tonight. <laughs> uh, but for me, honestly, myself, I'm usually happy with just vanilla ice cream as a dessert. Right. You're pretty so, simple. Yeah. But overall, very good. I love, I love all the. You know, I'm a dolphin fan. Yeah. Uh, so I love all the dolphins pictures and all the references. Fun fact: Now I did come here years ago, a long time ago, with my mother, and I did meet Don Shula here. We have the picture. The picture's up on our studio on the shelf. Shelf. So. Also on that shelf is the football he signed for me, mm -hmm. and the uh, dolphins cap he signed for me. But that's not the cool part. He let me wear his 1972 undefeated Super Bowl ring. <laughs> this hand has worn an undefeated Miami Dolphins Super Bowl ring. That was so cool back when Shula was alive. Recently uh, passed, but uh, that was a very fun event. But it's still nice to see all the, uh, the, cool, all the cool dolphin photos and stuff. So right. as a dolphin fan, I really appreciate Shula's. And uh, I guess that's going to do it for the food review, right? Yeah. Go ahead and say the stuff you like to say. Magic doesn't seem fun. See you next time. Subscribe.